Two dozen inmates have filed a lawsuit against the South Carolina Department of Corrections. They claim living conditions in protective custody are cruel and that their basic rights are being denied. Among the inmates filing that lawsuit is serial killer Todd Kolhap. Brianna Smith has that story tonight. Brianna. Hey guys, it's not just the inmates in protective custody that are making big complaints about their living conditions. It's across the entire prison system. And an upstate activist is saying that she's going to look into returning their basic rights. 27 inmates joined in on the suit, stating that the Department of Corrections denied them medical care, mental health treatment, and living conditions with urine and feces on the floor and extreme heat and cold in their cells. It's the same complaints freedom fighter activist Tracy Fant says she's hearing from inmates in Lee Correctional like no shower since the seven murders happened and being denied mental health treatment as well. They're living in inhumane conditions, um, feces everywhere, spit, urine everywhere. They can't urinate or um, defecate in the toilet because they have to use, they have to drink the toilet water. Fant plans on meeting with the members of the legislature next week to discuss these issues she's received from inmates. Tom.